What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Random TV Review. Look, I'm really disappointed because I thought tonight was the season finale. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, we could have sworn that we heard them say that last week, but maybe we just messed up because I was like... I was, I was done. I was like... Yeah. Mm -mm. But I'm sitting up here eating me some, some chocolate and stuff. My brother's home from Japan, him and his wife, so... Yeah. I don't know where they got that from, but it's good. <laughs> so we start off where we left off at Candace. I mean, Jeffrey and the guy doing Cobb. I was like, didn't we finish the scene? But I guess we didn't finish. And uh, Candace walks in. It's like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, what y'all doing? So the cop was like, you had a break in. You know Aquita Maxwell. Candace was like, mm. Jeffrey said, yeah. You forgot to leave her the key, right? Candace was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, and the cop was like, okay, that's all I needed okay. to know. No, that was his exit to get out of there. So, yeah. Yeah, because Jeffrey called him out. So, Candace said, well, why was his zipper unzipped? I have that question, too, because when did that happen? Yeah, when, yeah, because I don't remember the, I, I know he grabbed his down the line, but, but he I don't didn't. remember the zipper going down. Yeah, so when... Yeah. Tyler, stop it. Yeah, don't do it. So, she was like, so what does he know? He was like, there's so many words. He, he know that Quita over here looking for a brother. Yeah, so, you know that day when Candace is like, tick, tock, tick, mm -hmm. tock. <laughs> She was like, um, we can use this. Because Jeffrey already let him know, look, the cop is creepy. He likes me. He wants to get with me. She was like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, we can definitely use this to get everything we need to know out of him. She was like, he put a gun to my head. Candace was like, welcome to the big leagues. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the club. Ain't gonna be, <laughs> this ain't gonna be the last time. Yeah, this happened to the best of us. I said. I guess normal. Pretty normal stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, Jeffrey was like, look, I need to find my guy doing keys. He's What's going on? So, Erica comes over, which we don't trust Erica. Erica's like, mm, who that? He, he ain't on our team. <laughs> she was like, mm, too bad. So, Jeffrey, he tracking his guy doing keys, right? I said, what is up with everybody tracking stuff to direct locations? Yeah. Tell me some. You got a shovel? It yeah. said my keys is under the dirt. It's, it's saying, the like T.I. said, you can miss me with it. Turn it. Turn it. So you, we're not doing this. Yeah, Tyler, we're not if, doing if, this. If, if that's a true app, please let me know what that app is because I'm forever losing my freaking keys. Mm -hmm. You let me know that my keys underneath the dirt. I just need to know if they underneath the couch. Yes, because that's most time where they end up. In. Yeah, like. <laughs> so the day when Jeffrey goes to the backyard and he was like, uh, "I'm gonna start digging." He started digging with the freaking hoe, um, the, the little hand hoe. And Candace was like, stop, stop, stop it. And he was like, I need my keys. I need to get my keys. And she was like, you need to just call a locksmith. He was like, but the, the app said my keys is in the dirt. <laughs> Candace calls up, got doing um, her brother. Benny was like, did you remember seeing keys? He said, with a black band, with a black band? He said, yeah, I, I, I put them down there with him. I said. Because I knew they want your keys. Everything just went down with old Quincy, huh? Yeah, everything. What else I need to do? So that guy, though, Candace told him, said, look, look, get new keys. He was like, no, but the app says here, get new, new keys. keys. They're down here. They're with him. He said, with who? Quincy, with dummy. That's <laughs> a dead body. <laughs> Why did you put him underneath the door? Why did you do that? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I am done. <laughs> so then we see Hannah. She over at the crime mansion just going through sofas, pizza boxes, cabinets, lint, the dryer, looking for change. I said, we don't resort to this, to Hannah? stealing? So we stealing now? I was like, what is... So she tells... I'm going to fast forward because I want to get it out of the way. She goes to Miss Catherine Cryer with a whole handful of money. I got nine hundred. Was it thirty-two? Nine hundred and thirty-six dollars. And you it's, owe me six hundred and some more. Six hundred more. She was like Hannah. Hannah, what do I have to do to get you to stay? She was like, you don't owe me. me. This I'm is not, not no slave hey. master stuff. I she said, ain't mean it that way. She said, I just need you to be here. And I went, I, I feel sorry for Catherine because Hannah's the only friend that Catherine has. Yep. And their friendship was she real until them got doing sons came. Yeah, I'm not going to get on it no more. I'm not going to talk about it. But I'm going to say this right here. 
she had to be a desperate somebody that this shit can say she done came and looked through all your stuff and found $900 in your house. And you ain't bothered. And you not bothered by that? Oh. She went through her, yeah. per her pocketbooks. Her, her shoes. shoes all in their closet. They couches throwing stuff everywhere. I said, mm. But so, only a, oh. No, I guess I was just going to close it out. I was going to say she was like, you the only friend I had. My, my husband don't love me. My kids didn't love me. Not even my goddamn mama. I said, that's bad. She said, you the only person that care about me. If you leave me, I'm lost. And Hannah hit her with the wisdom of all times. She said, that's what's the matter with you rich people. You can buy anything you freaking want, but got to beg for what you need. I said, that's the goddamn truth right there. Ooh. And she said, I'm not for sale. And she said, yeah, not like your daughter. She said, what my daughter got to do with this? <laughs> and she said, uh -huh. my husband wired her $7.4 million to the candy cane factory, a.k.a. Candy Shunk. <laughs> so right there and there, Hannah know where the goddamn money came from. Mm -hmm. I said, ooh, yep. wait. Hannah was like, look, in so many words, consider me gone, deuces, bye. I, I, gone. <laughs> that guy doing, um, Catherine started crying. She was like, no. Please don't leave me. Y'all know what I thought about what she did. I thought about color purple. No. <laughs> Let her stay. No. How they do it? <laughs> I said, okay. So then we see Mr. Wyatt. We already knew Wyatt oh, was going to be high. Wyatt is in that hotel room high as a kite with a whole bunch of friends. Even the coke dealer that he bought the first brick from was in there. Was like, dude, slow your roll. Slow that's, your roll now. That's straight Columbia. That can kill you. Yeah. Why it was like, get up out of yeah. here. You get out of here. Oh, you cute. Come snort some yeah. with me. I said, why it's gonna kill itself? Why it's gonna kill itself? What you got? I said, why done got half that money up his nose, all freaking red. We already told y'all. Yeah, the angel dust. The angel dust ain't good for you, bruh. Not that white horse. Yeah, that white horse riding the white horse. Do, 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 do. <laughs> if you want to be rich. <laughs> so they got doing Veronica. She pulls around the back of the jail, right? The FEMA jail at that. Mm -hmm. And she gets so quit out. She pulls some kind of strings or whatever. Y'all know how much I hate Quita. Y'all know how much I hate her acting. The acting is I, terrible. Still terrible. She's like, they put a head out on you. You got somebody in your house right now to go put a bullet through your brain. You and better not go home. So she was like, how do you know? It's one of my boys. It's one of my It's one of my boys. <laughs> Veronica was like, uh, do you know um, Candace Andrew? Yeah, yeah, because I went over there. I went over there because something ain't <laughs> right. They got bleach floors. My brother missing. It was blood on the phone because we tracked it. <laughs> And I know Candace, and your son has something to do with it. Because your son would drive my car and got arrested. They got doing, uh, Veronica said, so do you still stay? She, pretty much, she was like, are you still stuck in the projects where I got your brother from? Yeah. And she was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. She said, I'm going to call you later for that address. Can, can, can I, I get, get a ride with you? Hell oh, no. no. <laughs> Cold-blooded, man. Yeah, you cold-blooded. This girl has told you that your brains would get blown out. You can't even give her a ride home. Mm -mm. Oh man. So the day go um the bankers over at the house. He's sweating like he's sweating bullets. So he finally tells Catherine. He was like, "Look, your son got the inheritance, twelve million dollars. Uh, he sent it off to an offshore account. Don't nobody know where yet." I said, darn, why it was why smart? Why it's smart, yeah. Oh, unless the DA was smart. I don't know who said that. I up. think he ran, he ran his dad them, so he, you know how people hide money over offshore. So that dad go, Lloyd said, look, y'all need to transfer some money. Because um, it was $7.4 million or something like that allocated for taxes. Now, the taxes is due. So you need to find the money. So she was like, yeah, you just go ahead and wire it, the 7.4. But he was like, nah. Such and such, the lawyer said, you should wire over 30 million. Oh, until you something count, BB something. Because, uh. In case you get sued. Before you get the lawsuit. She yeah. said, I don't think that's going to happen. He said, just, just in case. Just in case. 
I say, yeah, you better wire that money over there because you're going to need it. Man, go and wire a million over to my account while you're at it. You ain't lying. <laughs> so, uh, what else happened? Uh, Mitch is over at the, um, well, Benny finally went back to work. And Mitch shows him the paper of him kissing Veronica. He was like, so is this what all, um, all of this is all about? Man, this why our phones is on? Old dude came over here. You caught on camera with his wife. Tell me what the deal is. He was like, look, you need to tell old, bro, old dude what you did with his wife so we can get our business back together. So Benny said, nah, nah. nah he was for his wife. He was like, forget all of that. Yeah, put your pride in your pocket. Get our business back going, bro. Yeah, we need our money. We need yeah. our pockets. We need our bread. Yeah. So uh, this day on Candace come pooching on in there and why mitch was looking at her like he knew something about her or he don't been with candace before it was kind of weird yeah to he me. looked scared to me he said, it, hey candace hey candace I, i'm gonna let y'all oh, be yeah, by yourself <laughs> so candace was like look um when the last time you talked to war he's like he come by here almost every day he was like i'm gonna try to do some business with him Candace like don't do that at the same time he, he come on up and up like a day gonna snake in the grass why why, why? Give me a hug, baby. I said, we're not doing the sports stuff no more. Oh, I know he wasn't going to do that in front of Benny because Benny wasn't going to kill it. So, the day on war leaves and Candace was like, don't, don't fool with war. Da, 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 da. Oh, by the way, I need to mortgage um, the house. My and house. And your house. Your house. And the bit and your business. Benny said, don't you ever say nothing like yeah. that to me. Mm. Uh-uh. He, he, like, they're going to... Um, <laughs> I turned and said, look, 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 you do whatever you want to do, but the, but the name stays home. Uh-uh. The, the titles, name, the, the, the deeds stay home. Yeah, they stay with me. I made you. It's like, Candace, don't, don't, didn't you, don't you remember what you did to my mama and her house? I, I don't even know why in the world she let Urka even talk her into doing that. He, she, she knew Benny wasn't going to go for that. Mm -mm. Benny Come. said, get out. Get out. Then she told me, so, nah, I'm just bullshitting with you. <laughs> so then Benny said, hold on, hold on. Who is it? Who is it? Because I'll yeah, kill him. Who after? I'm going to kill him. She's like, no, 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 no. Who is it? And I would say, tell him, tell him, tell him. Who is it? She wouldn't tell Benny who it was with Save a Life. I said, you know what, Candace? But whatever. Anyway. I said, you better tell him. And so then she talked talking about this freaking lawsuit. She was like, you can easily get $10 million. You probably don't even have to go to court. Benny said, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I was like. Yeah. He said, I ain't really worried about it. Because, you know, they paid my hospital bills and everything. I'm good. Benny. No. No, it's just not enough. It ain't enough. They almost killed you, dog. I uh, said so they could kill you. And they covered it up. So then, we get Wyatt. He over at the place. He's shooting up now. He done went from yeah. the cocaine to the heroin. And he takes one shot in the, in the vein and, and passes gone. Pass out. out. I said, woo. Then later on, we see the DA trying to call him. I said, there it is. There it is. We yep. already said it. He's going to be too high to go to court. Yep. So, Catherine pooches back up into the FEMA jail to go see her husband. Jim was like, oh, you look you look pretty. She said, save it. I need save you to be the a-hole mm -hmm. right now. Because yep. when you're nice, <laughs> I know you're nervous. So, I need you to be an a-hole. She was like, uh, did Lloyd call you? It's like, mm, he's talking about the possible lawsuit, whatever, that I, you know, transferring money is all that taken care of. She's like, no, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm. Sh well, I'm not surprised that he left the dirty work for me. Mm -hmm. Um, the the DA got our son's inheritance released to him, he and said, now he's gone. He did. She did what? So he could. He would kill himself off of that. Yeah. She was like, don't you think I know that? <laughs> so that day, going Jim said, you need to find her, and he said, remind her why your name is Catherine Hargrave Cryer. She said, I'm on it. Like Rick Filler said, woo! I said, oh God. <laughs> oh God. So then we see David go over to God doing to the DA's office. I need the address to my. He said, please, give me the address. He was shaking him. She said, get off me. He then said, she please. said, Go on over there to Maggie Day. I said, why does she sound like Veronica right now? Like, every yeah. time you say something to her, ask Maggie Day. Yeah, everything goes back to her. And then she said, you got time for Maggie Day, but you didn't you have time, time for, for me. me. I told y'all I want to see it. He said, he said, I don't got time for this. Well, let me see Jim. And she made that call quick. Yeah. He said, yeah. please. No, after he begged, though, he said, please. He please. put a deep voice he, on He put that Barry White voice on her. Hey, babe, please, baby. Let me go see Jim. And I'll come back and break you off a little later. She said, 
Okay. I'll let you get five minutes, baby. She made a call. And she meant five <laughs> minutes with me. That's what she meant. <laughs> so then we see old um, Candace and Benny. It didn't take long to convince him to go meet with the lawyer. So they meet with the lawyer. And pretty much the lawyer was like, you know, with everything that's going on with the crisis right now, you probably can just settle this out of court. Yeah, easily. Easy. And um, he was like, uh, you should really consider going being a lawyer if you were able to pull all of this off. Yeah. And she was like, but I'm in law school. He said, well, when you come see me, I said, all heads. Mm. Hit number three. Yep. So uh, <laughs> he was like, if you get the grandfather and the kid's mother on board, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, it'll be then it was it like, easier. I ain't even sign up for it. She was like, he will. Yeah, he's going to do it. He will. I was like, darn. She was like, yeah, when I get this all set up, I'm going to call you over to my house for dinner. I said... Well, there we have it. Mm -hmm. So Hannah goes to the hospital. She wants to go see her grandson, the doctor that was flirting with her, comes out. And he was like, he's doing good. He's in the room. But you, my friend, can cannot I see, see him. him. I said, that's she, what you get. She was like, why? What's wrong? She said, child protective. So here come Mr. DeLong. Mm -hmm. Mr. DeLong got a face all beat uh -huh. up. Yep. All nervous. But, but how you going to be? How you going to be? <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. But how you gonna be in child protective service and you look like you need protecting? Yeah, badly. You beat up. You need to be in custody right now. Yeah, in protection. Yeah, witness protection. So she was like, "Look, with my deal, you don't have a house. <laughs> I granted everything over to the kid's mother." Hannah said, "Oh, she, she got, got to you." you. He was like, no. What no. did she do? Look, like Kevin Hall said, look at your face. <laughs> look at your face. Do you want to press charges? I was like, she said, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. That's okay. So then here come Erica. Erica come over to the house. She was like, I got it. I can forge the documents. She I can forge like, the deeds. She was like, nah, I can't do this to my brother. She was like, you don't have a choice. This is war we're talking about. I agree. She said, what you going to solve? You don't got solved? I don't agree. She I don't said, agree she should do it. She said, uh, no, Benny is the only person that loves me. She was like, yeah, and, but war is going to kill you. <laughs> so it don't matter who loves you at that point because you're going to be dead. So she was like, uh, uh, uh. Eric was like, huh. at the uh, same time, okay, when did Candace get in contact with the grandfather, yeah. For him to be girl. given a return phone call. And she took the refer return phone call in front of Erica. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, yeah. Um, We have secured a lawyer. We've retained a lawyer. And we're, we're, we're going to sue the criers. My brother and you and, you know, your daughter, if you would have it. And we're just going to, we have a meeting over here at the house with the lawyer. And Erica's sitting over there like this. I don't know if y'all peeped it. Mm-hmm. I said, what's she up to? I said, she, she might worked. be, yeah, she might be she trying to say, yeah, it. sound like she might be trying, because she's so adamant about her getting money. So, so adamant. So as soon as Candace hung up the phone, she was like, we can mortgage these houses, and mm -hmm. then you can pay it off with that money, with the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. She said, but that's business yeah, money. business money. She said, she said well, you can work out something where you can get a piece of it. I said, something ain't right. Yeah, something ain't right, yeah. Something ain't right. I don't know what this is. But I wonder if she working with war. I think if she working with war, and then she going to take them houses and put them in her name. Yeah, it can definitely happen. And all it, got a good point there. I don't know. Mm. Well, they got to know Veronica goes and pooches up on up to her house. And she pulls out her iPad mini out of her purse. iPad mini's got really good long charging power because she's been in jail all that time and it mm. ain't went dead. Yep. Uh, and she looks at her in-home security cameras. And dude been sitting there. He ain't peed. He ain't ate. He ain't took a dump or nothing. He in all the days. He ain't took the ski mask off. I know he, he stank. Yeah, he got to stink. Yeah. And she said, <laughs> <laughs> she said, do 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 Maggie Day. <laughs> How are you? You know, I just really have to take my hats off to you because you had the courage to do something that I never was able to do. She said, but there are some things that I need to tell you about David that I can only speak of in person. Do you think you can meet me at my house in a couple, a couple of hours? hours? I said this way. Oh. 
Cause mind you, remember, Creta said, whoever walks through that door first, gonna get it. Gonna get popped. And now I'm not even sure what's gonna happen because next week's previews kind of threw me off again. Yeah, it looked like she was going to open up the door. And then call it, I I don't know. I, I don't know. This was an all right episode for me. Yeah. I, 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 I want all that to me. Yeah, because I was like, like we said, we thought it was a season finale. I was like, if this is a season finale, yeah, this is screwed. a suck ending right here. So I think it was setting the stage for what's going to happen next week. Yeah. So I hope that he leave us on a big enough cliffhanger so we can come back next season. If not, I don't know. Uh, we might just cut them off, throw you in the river. Like ice. Don't said, don't throw you no like a uh, life uh, 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 a raft to pull you back in. Just throw you out. Yeah, and let like, you drown. Like Isa said, nine o'clock tall. All right, straight from the bed. The dirty, dirty south. Two, two up, up, two, two down. down. Holla. Holla.